All right, I'm working in X15. This was a question on Chief Talk. They've got a window with a larger bottom sash, and they want wind or shutters to match the window. So there's the actual house. I've got a window, and I've changed the size of the sash. It's a, it's a five foot tall window. The bottom sash I've made three feet, and so the top sash is two feet. And you could, um, if you if you had an odd size window, you know you can you can just do the math and figure this out. You can do a CAD detail from view, and you can you know do measurements there but uh, that shouldn't be needed and I've just found a shutter that's probably out of one of the bonus catalogs that's similar to what we want and what I'm going to show how to do is change that shutter that symbol to where it works in this case so I'm just going to stick that shutter right there, and then let's open it. And it doesn't have any any uh, sizing set, any stretch plane set. So that's what we need to do. And so I'm going to put one at 10 inches. And I'm going to put one at let's make it 48. So now I've got two stretch planes. And so when I resize this shutter vertically, it's going to uh, change the height at these stretch planes. And I want to do this because I want to leave all these uh, styles and rails all the structure of the shutter the same size i don't want to as i'm resizing the shutter i don't want to do anything to change anything so except for the height so i'm going to say okay so of course nothing changed i'm going to open this back up i'm going to come up here and i'm going to make this 48 and hit tab so now the shutter is 48 inches tall so we've got a two foot top and a two foot bottom and I'm going to say OK now I'm going to take that while it's selected and just create a new symbol and let's stick that over here and then I'm going to open this one up and this one you notice the stretch planes go away so I'm going to put a width stretch plane right in the center. And that's to keep these styles on the outside from changing sides. And then height. I'm just going to make that 21. And I think, I don't do enough of this to know for sure, but I think that if you position it right here, then this bottom can get really small. It may not matter, but I would need or you would need to, to play with that and see. And then I'm going to add that to the library. And then once that's selected, we can just click over here 
and apply it to the window. And then let's resize this window. You notice the window um, resizes and the shutter resizes, but this top part of the shutter stays the same. I'm going to undo. If you, if you drag it down, same thing. The top stays the same. So I'm going to undo. So let's open this up. Let's make the window six feet. And let's make this 48. And you can see over here in the preview that this top piece stayed two feet. This rail on this shutter is the centered on this. All the styles and rails are the same. So let's resize this window. And of course the shutters get real big. But the styles and rails are all the same. I found that you always need to make new symbols. That's that's one thing that the I don't know of a way that you can get rid of get rid of this stuff. If you set this to zero and you set this to zero, you know, the the shutter does weird things. And so I found that it's easiest just to make new symbols as you go. You can get rid of these. That's no big deal. Anyway, that's a quickie on uh, changing shutter symbols that are already in the library.